Hello, welcome back to my craft room. My name's Tina and today we're going to carry on knitting the drop sweater called the Winter Wine and we're going to do the cast on today. So if you've not seen the previous video where we talk about what we're going to need, I shall link that down below. So please take a look at that one first so you can gather all the things you're going to need for this tutorial. So the Drops Winter Wine is a top down sweater so today we are going to be starting at the neck and we should be doing the ribbon if you have got your yarn and your needles and you're ready to go then i should be holding your hand all the way through so don't be nervous and remember you can always put questions down below and i shall get back to you also if there's something that you don't understand please let me know so I can go over it because I'm sure if I haven't explained it enough for you to know what's going on, then there's going to be other people that don't know either. So please don't stay quiet and give up. If there's something that's troubling you, then please let me know and I can do a short video just to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll turn the camera around and show you what you will be needing for this video. So for this video to cast on, you're going to need your yarn you're going to need your 4.5 millimeter needles, the shorter ones to cast on for the ribbon on the neck, and you're also going to need a stitch marker. That is for when we join in the round and it will indicate when you come to the end of the row. You will also need, for the next video, four more stitch markers, and these are to show the raglan sleeves. I'm just pointing this out in this video because I have chosen a stitch marker that's completely different for the beginning of the row, so I don't get confused with the other markers for the increases for the raglan sleeves. So if you are choosing some yarn instead of stitch markers or some ribbon, then try and choose a different colour just to show which is for the increases and which is the beginning of the row. Okay, so let's cast on. So you will see on the third page of the pattern, we have for the yoke to cast on. So because I'm doing the medium size, I am going to cast on 72 stitches on the 4.5 millimeter needles. So the first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. So you just make a loop Put your fingers through that loop and catch hold of the yarn that is connected to the ball and then just pull that through and that is your slip knot. I'll just do that one more time. So make a loop, put your fingers through, catch hold of the yarn and pull and there is your slip knot. So then we're going to slip that onto your needle. And then I am going to cast on 72. So all I do for a cast on, a very simple cast on, because this neck is quite big, I'm not thinking of doing a stretchy cast on. If this neck was going to be quite tight, then I'd think about a stretchy one just in case my head didn't fit through. But this one is going to be plenty of room, so I'm just going to do a simple cast on. So is as if to knit, take it round, down, up, and then just pop that stitch onto the needle. So round, round the top, and pop it on. And so that is what I'm going to do for my 72 stitches. So I'm just going to carry on like that. If you want to pause this video and we'll start again when all the stitches are back on. So take a look, double check that you are looking at the right size. As you've seen on my pattern, I do put a highlight them so I don't get confused. So I do, if you've got some colored pencils or something, I would recommend this so you know where you are. So once you've got your cast on, then you can restart the video. I now have 72 stitches on my needle, so now we need to join in the round. So one, a really important part of this before you join this in the round is to make sure that there's no twisting in this because if you join it and it's twisted, you cannot untwist it once it's joined. So your sweater will be twisted and unwearable. So please make sure that all your stitching 
is underneath so there's no twisting at all and when you're really sure that it is okay then we can join now there are some different ways you can join I generally just start knitting because what I find is when you sew in this tail at the end then you can join it up anyway so I'm just going to start knitting and just make sure it's quite tight when I go past that point and that will hold it together on the pattern you will see that it says so we are here we've just we've just cast on and now we're going to knit around so literally just got to join it up and knit one row so we are going to put a stitch marker on so we know when we come to the beginning again I'm just going to double check that everything is not twisted when I put it down and then I'm just going to start knitting I will say something else I do is I hold the tail over that side so it like crosses as I knit I find that helps as well so if you just do your first stitch I say just give it a little pull so it tightens up a bit and then just carry on just knitting round so I won't show you this bit because if you don't know how to do the knit stitch then I think this isn't the video for you so yeah I won't bore you with that so I'll just skip ahead and if you want to pause this video once again we will catch up again when we get back to the stitch marker. They're not the easiest stitches to see because it is super fluffy yarn but you should have knit all your stitches round until you come to your marker once again and so now on the pattern so we have knit around and now we're going to work the rib so we're going to knit two and purl two so literally knit two pull the yarn forward and purl two so just a straightforward rib So knit two, and forward, purl two, take that yarn back for the knit again, knit two. So that's all we're going to be doing and we've got to do that for four centimetres I believe, yes. So we're going to just carry on doing those until we get to four centimetres and then stop there at your stitch marker and then we will move on to the next video. I think if we try and keep the videos quite short then it'd be easier for you to follow through and know where you are and find the next video easily. If you are not subscribed please subscribe so you know when the next video has come up i will also create a playlist if you wanted to save the playlist and then they'll all be there for you when you want to use them so thank you for joining in please tag me on instagram simply in stitches because i would love to see how you're getting on and what yarn you're using so until next time any questions please put them below i'll see you again soon bye for now good luck